Do you know I like my 9mm PCCs and AR pistols? And people are always amazed what you can do with a 9mm, especially at some distance, you know, even with a really short barrel. Rock River Arms makes a nice 9mm AR pistol. This is the RUK BT9. I had to get one to review it and see how it compares to the others. Check this out. I'm Drew Case from Beyond Seclusion, bringing you the reviews directly here to Gun.Deals, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, real quick, if you're not familiar with Gun.Deals, they're a website where you can go share, find the best gun-related deals available for purchase online or in retail stores. It's awesome, guys. You just type in the gun or the product you're looking for in the search, and it'll show you anything and everything that's been posted from any user company or website. Now, Gun.Deals does not sell firearms. They don't sell anything. They simply find the deals, redirect you to the site where the sales are. It's genius. I love it. So the first thing I noticed when I picked this up right out of the box is it feels good. It feels comfortable and it feels solid and quality. Now, before we get into the shooting, let's just take a quick look at the specs and tech and an up close of this and the features. Okay, so these days with my eyes aging, I just, I have a hard time using the iron sights. I need optics. I want to get this Mepro. I'm doing a review on it, the RDS Pro um, V2. I want to get this zeroed in at 50 yards and then go from there, see what kind of groups we can get. I want to season the barrel. I know that seems just kind of crazy that I want to season a short barrel like this, but it's how I do it. You know, three shots, clean, polished, three shots, five shots, 10 shots. Um, I do find that it dramatically, at least in my experience, it increases the accuracy. I do have a video. I get a lot of people that ask, just simply go to videos and do a search there and you'll find the barrel break in or seasoning process. Now, before I forget, okay, because I do that a lot, this has a really sweet trigger. It is crisp, it is clean, it has little travel, little break. You will not find the need to put in any kind of aftermarket match grade trigger. This thing rocks, it's good to go as is. Also, this is just comfortable. It's just fun to shoot, period. It has little recoil, the ergonomics, you know, I just, I really like it. With that said, I do hope that I get to hang on to this so I can do more reviews in the future with different optics and accessories just because it's ideal and it's compact and I'd love to take this off and do some reviews with can with my can and some subsonic but we'll see on that okay so I'm getting ready to bang on some steel with the Rock River arms here and I've got some new sergeant major munition now this is rain range friendly Tudelo manufactured it's created for indoor ranges using a cleaner and consistent burning powder from Serbia. And this stuff is self-lubricating zinc plated steel case and a non-magnetic brass jacketed bullet. Each round supposedly is hand inspected every lot for velocity and pressure. We're just going to see how it does if we have any of the issues as far as, you know, light primer strikes, if they have changed the mag. And then we're just going to see how we get for accuracy. We had some really good results yesterday. Good enough that I think we can bang on some steel. Special thanks to Sergeant Major and also special thanks to Up Lula. Sent me a couple of mag loaders here. Guys, if you've got a Glock or other mags and you don't have one of these, you absolutely need one okay most things look great on paper they always do let's try shooting it straight out of the box what i'm going to do is i'm going to put uh optic on here okay real quick here i just want to try at 100 yards i'm going to skip the 50 because i'm assuming that that's going to be too easy
that wasn't bad. I'd say the ammo was working fantastic. Now I got thinking, we got this mounted back on here after we torture tested it. I don't need to run back to the CQB range. In fact, it's gonna be a better test if I can hit the steel here at 100 to show that it survived the torture test. So let's try that. <laughs> I would say that it passed. Okay, let's just see how fast we can get them on target here at 100 bagging it. Now, I can't hear because of the report and these coming off. Uh, I would like to think those were all hits, but we'll have to get into editing, and I may have to slow down the trigger pull on that. All right, let's just go here at 200. See how we can do at 200. It's not bad. I was having to aim about anywhere from three to four feet above that. All right, so I've got the Sergeant Major ammo in here. Let's just see if we can bang on that steel over there at 200 on the other side of the dam. Standing. Failure to feed there. Nice guys. 200 yards. Okay, so I'm back at the CQB range. I want to have some fun transitioning short distances anywhere from 10 yards to 60 yards. Now, what I want to use is, is I've got some Amen 2 mags. I've been using these for a whole bunch of different calibers. And thus far, I'm really liking them. You know, those of you that is kind of important, made in the USA. So I'm going to start off with our 17 rounder. Okay, not that this thing needs some upgrades, but one thing that I do like to upgrade pretty much all my ARs that I can is the Breek Warhammer, the ambidextrous charging handle. I really like this. It just makes it easy because I can grab from either side. If I've got an optic that's coming out here, I can just grab both hands and charge it. I like that. You should check it out. I just saw a sale. Uh, Aim Surplus, I think, had them for 39 bucks. Guys, these are solid. I've been running them for years. You'll like them. Check them out. Anyway, let's start transitioning and banging here. We'll change the focus. Okay. <laughs> okay, the man two, flawless. Let's put in a little bit bigger one. Maybe do some double taps. This is the, the 34 rounder, okay? And I, I, I don't know if you guys always bang that sucker. All right, let's reach out here at 25, see how fast we can get some on target at 25.
recognize this thing. Like I said, the trigger on this is sweet. You don't need to do anything. I mean, it is just short, compact. I love the Mepro RDS optic on here. It is just fast, that circle dot. Whew, that was fun, that was fun. Okay, what I want that was way too much fun. Guys, I love this red dot. Um, yeah, spot on, fast, quick target acquisition. Real quick here, I wanna run through six different kinds of ammo. This is what we got it zeroed with, the Sergeant Major Munition. We got 147 grain, 124 grain, and then we got some 115s in a hollow point. Got it set up down there at 50. It's a little windy, but it should be fine as far as the groups go. Okay, so we just fired those off from a bench position. Let's go see the groups. Yeah, I'm actually... Pretty impressed with that. I'll move the camera over here so that I can throw up the the ammo there. I, I try to remember them, but if I screw it up, just you know, look at the order down here. That actually, you know, I was super happy with that with the Sergeant Major munition. That's what I had it zeroed. I do remember that that's the Fiocchi the hollow point and that doesn't surprise me that is a sweet group we got two flyers other than that solid group then we've got the fiocchi range ammo up here on top and that actually surprised me usually i get tighter with that and then we got the the 147 grain no sorry um yeah the 147 grain i think up there and that's that's pretty consistent. I usually get pretty good groups with that. And then down here, and I need to point out, these are from that one, and that's the, the SAR. And that's a decent group. These were from up here. And then the last one, this is what I always get with Gecko. I get the tightest groups with Gecko. So, you know, from what I'm seeing, Gecko is the winner. Uh, the Fiocchi's probably second. And then, you know, maybe the Sergeant Major. The thing is, in, you know, normal times or even this time, that is going to be by far the cheapest ammo. And that's one of the better groups. What I want to do now is I think I'm going to take the Sergeant Major and we're going to try to reach out to 300. I did hit the 300 the other day, but I forgot to hit record. I am not hitting it today. Got a little bit of wind, but sorry, no 300 on this one. There you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If you did, come check me out on my channel, Beyond Seclusion, on YouTube. I review optics, accessories, guns, triggers, you name it. Anyway, until next time on Gun.Deals, happy shooting. Remember, educate our young people to guns and gun safety. Be an ambassador for the Second Amendment and be a safe and responsible gun owner.